about uh, photosynthetic hormones that is a very useful for our organic matter to do in taking care of your plants I will not take um, too long on this video so we will not share on how to use or what are the benefits of this yet but we are gonna show you how we're gonna prepare this effectively it can really really works and um, the most important is that um, a lot of people might have problem on preparing it and it doesn't turn red color after it is done so today I will show you certain method on how it gonna make it work okay uh, ingredient is very minimal we use only this three is a fish sauce you can also get it from any of Thai store or any Asian store we have Ajinomoto same thing and eggs okay this is a very important that the egg size is matter all right we're gonna start from a very basic first of all um, the egg it should not be through your uh, chiller or put into the fridge it should be fresh from the market to use okay so the reason is that it will the bacteria won't grow well all right this egg will be the food for all the bacteria and because of the temperature if it's been through the chiller what will happen whatever you do it won't turn red color and the size of the eggs also is important you don't get it too big like the 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 double a triple a you know the kind of big big size because those are big size of the egg normally the egg yolk it will be small and the egg white it will be more so you want it somewhere really equal between the size of the egg white and the egg yolk so you use it something like a medium size like this this is will be good what we can do is that we are gonna start by having all these three ingredients to be mixed inside here the usage I'm using all 111 it means if it's one egg one tablespoon of Ajinomoto also one tablespoon of uh, fish sauce so I will put in this inside the bottle first so I'm using five eggs today that means I'm gonna using this five tablespoon of Ajinomoto as well for the starter gonna do that and then next I gonna crack the egg inside for the eggshell we, we are not gonna throw it but uh, I will tell you about it on how to use the eggshell we don't put the eggshell inside okay we just uh, peel just the egg only now it's done with all the five so the last step is that we're gonna put in this uh, fish sauce also we're using uh, five tablespoons you might not get used to the smell of this fish sauce but then again come to cooking uh, Thai food without this it just is not pronounced Thai food at all okay so we done with this what are we gonna do is that we're gonna have it shake a little bit you can see now uh, Ajinomoto is uh, go to under egg it's floating above so what you should do is that you have it by shaking it a little bit gently all right some of you might want to put into the blender and brand it so what will happen is that you will create the heat which is unnecessary for this you don't want to have it too cold by shielding your egg and take out from the fridge and then you know doing it or you don't want to brand it to make it um create the heat over there so you just gently check like this it will be fine and my method always i have to uh, find a way of saving time and uh, make it effective and also you don't have to do so much work so what will happen is that you leave this for a little while what will happen 
the Asinomoto that it doesn't really uh, mix well or not yet milk, it will still sink down. You will have to check it again shortly after this when you noticing that, okay? So, uh, when you're done with this, normally a lot of people were telling you you can sweat away using this mixture right away into the water. And then, you need to check the water, all the bottles, maybe twice a day or um, few times a day, as frequent as possible, okay, to activate the bacteria. So what will happen is that, to doing that, it just a lot of work because you only use a small quantity with this, you can create a lot, you know, like 50, 60 bottles. So you're going to have to do that and build up the muscle for nothing. My method is that after you mix this very well, what you have to do is still have to leave it in the cooling place first. And by checking just one bottle, every time you pass by, you just give it a, a very light shake like that. And continue, leave it there for 3 to 4 days. This way is much much better. So allow me to show you. This is... um. I did this with the um, 12 eggs so it's 12 eggs 12 tablespoon of Achinomoto and also 12 tablespoon of the fish sauce and I leave it about today it will be the fourth day so it's ready to use and this is uh, in the in the shady place okay not under the hot sun all right in the shady place and you look at the color it's already turning, it's changing the color, color getting darker a little bit, okay? This darker color is mean that uh, it's working very well and it's gonna um, see it very fruitful, it's gonna turn red after this maybe another. Uh, one month from now, you can see the color is changing. If you want it to be leave it a little bit longer to make it more deep, dark red color, very rich uh, when you use it also, it's very effective, okay? So when you're having this, don't put this in your fridge. So if you're doing that, it's going to be another big mistake. All right. And okay, now what we're going to do is that all this bottle that you, you see here, I leave the gap, air pocket a little bit. You can add a little bit more water, but actually I just did somewhere here is fine. So what I'm going to do is that, um, I use the pipe water, the clean water. You can use the water from pond, you can use natural water, you can use rain water, whatsoever it is. But it doesn't really uh, show that it is safe. You might not have the aliens uh, uh, bio, my microbiotic inside and all this stuff. So what you want to use is that you use clean water. But clean water, there is one problem. There is always a problem in it. So if you, it depends on the area as well. I noticed that certain certain households they having the uh, um, pipe water. Colin smell very strong. You can even smell it. But some is fine. So it's been less colin inside. So for the safe side, no matter what, what you should do is that fill up the bottle and leave it the gap open for a few days. I did this and leave the gap open for a few days first so make sure that all the colin is gone. From there, I will use only, you don't use too much of this uh, mixture inside, okay? You only need to use very little. What I'm gonna do is that I only put not even a spoonful it's a very lightly, almost a spoon per one bottle I use only two of this and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna close the bottles shake it, give it a shake for a little bit like that lightly is done already and loosen the cap this time around you need to loosen the cap like that Okay, so when well, it's going on here, um, they might clear the gas and it needs a little bit of something not so not so tight. Okay, not so tight. 
all right we will keep on doing this for the rest of the bottles um for these 12 eggs you can do like uh, up to 100 of bottles uh, why i need a lot because uh, the use of this is um very very multiple uh, purpose and when you want to use it you can use it for the rooting system as well you can use uh, directly spray on the the leafy and the plant itself also when it's already turned red color what all you need to do is that you can take out around 100 cc to mix with about 20 liter of water you can pour directly uh, on the soil on the pot on the plots and the, you know on the plants also you can spray on the plant itself so uh, we're gonna continue doing this for the rest of all the bottles and today I have a very big job to do because with this quantity I can do it up to about 100 bottles so uh, that's it for today we will be updating you on how the progress on this once it's done already uh, place it at the, the under the sun so we will see the changes and we will update you guys after this uh, when, when everything is all the color is changing around it i will update with you and maybe that will be a good time for me to share the usage and also the benefit of this as well uh, this thing you can buy in shopee actually and what we do is that sometimes um you can sell and for those doing the conversion by doing your own diy you save a lot of cost as you can see there's nothing much to use and um, the benefit from this is so a lot of things that is uh, you're gonna be very happy about it so save cost and for commercial use you don't need to purchase you don't need to buy and you can do it in a big bulk if you have extra sell it share it to your neighbor and uh, some of the actor they will use that's already been um, the red color to mixture inside to help uh, that will help also as well but it's not always uh, result is 100% so this way is the easiest fastest way so that's it for today's video uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoy and also please do like share and subscribe the good tips like this for the organic garden for home grow and also good for commotion you can share these good tips uh, throughout every week thank you so much for today bye